This is Player Grades, the entry into the world of Pro Football Focus. During the football season, our team of 300-plus staff spends around 20,000 man-hours of work to grade and analyze every play of the NFL season. On every play, a PFF analyst grades each player on a scale of minus 2 to plus 2 according to what they did on the play. At one end of the scale, you have a catastrophic game-ending interception or pick sixes from the quarterback. And at the other end, perfect deep bombs into tight windows in critical game situations. The middle of that scale, where most of the grades reside, are zero-graded or expected plays that are neither positive nor negative. All areas of the game are taken into account to make up PFF's overall grade. Pass rush, run defense, coverage, all combined to make the overall total we get for a defender. So what features are in player grades? You get grades by position and the ability to sort by facet of the game. Snap counts also by position and facet of the game. Player grades for each season of a player's NFL career team matchup chart showing head-to-head which teams have the advantage. Why are player grades important if they don't reflect the box score numbers? In 2016, Atlanta Falcons edge rusher Vic Beasley had a breakout season and led the NFL in sacks, but he was only the 31st ranked edge rusher in terms of PFF's pass rushing grade. Oakland's Khalil Mack was the top ranked edge rusher in the league with five fewer sacks than Beasley, but had far more total pressures over the season. All pass rushers are trying to get sacks, but even the best will only do that on around 3% of their snaps over a season. Hits and hurries combined with sacks offer a far more complete picture of total pressure generated. Pressure beyond sacks is important in its own right. Just pressuring the quarterback sees an average drop in passer rating of 32 points, effectively turning Tom Brady into Jay Cutler just by hurrying him in the pocket. Beasley led the league in sacks, but was 18th even just among edge rushers when it comes to total pressures. When we used analytics to find out how valuable pressures were compared to sacks in expected points added terms, we found that a sack is worth around 2.1 pressures of any other kind. For Mack to be more valuable than Beasley last season, he would need just 11 extra hurries to overcome the five sack difference between the two, but he had 40 more pressures, so had a significantly higher PFF grade. In addition, not all sacks are created equal. Beasley got home 16 times, but 8 of those 16 were either unblocked or cleanup sacks that owed more to somebody else getting the initial pressure than it did to him beating a blocker to make the play. PFF grading takes into account the quality of the play needed to generate the statistic, and just ending with a sack won't necessarily get you the highest grade. So join the PFF community and get the edge with the same information used by NFL teams, players, and experts today.